ladies and gentlemen, we are set to go with our co-featured bout of the evening. Three rounds, this scheduled in the strawweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. She is a mixed martial artist, standing five feet, four inches tall. Official weight, 115 and one quarter pounds. In 11 professional bouts, her record stands at eight victories with three defeats. Fighting out of Nagoya, Japan, here is Mizuki. Next, her opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. She is a mixed martial artist, standing five feet, five inches tall. Weighing at officially 115 pounds, she brings a perfect record into the cage tonight. Six bouts, six victories, and no defeats. Presentando la invicta niña de Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, Alexa. Beltran getting the straw weight assignment. It is our co main event of Invicta FC 11. It's Grosso versus Inouye. Hard right hand by Grosso. Again, finishing with that kick. I mean, Grosso's hands are incredibly quick. They're very, very good. And both of these women move their hands when they punch such an important oh, oh, there he is. Spinning back kick by Grosso lands in the body of Mizuki. She follows it up with the flurry. Mizuki's still hanging tough. Hard left hand by Grosso. Mizuki answers with a combination of her own. A lot of action here, and we're only two minutes in. It's one of those fights where you almost have to sit back and really absorb everything because these women are moving so fast. At just 21 and 20 years old, these women are fighting like they're long tenured veterans in this martial arts. Jab is coming in there. Hard exchange by both women. Grosso so fluid with her punching. And Mizuki's so fast. To be able to read on those super fast flurries and those super fast punches is really remarkable. Now she shoots in, gets a takedown. Now she secures the position, Grosso. Oh, Grosso moves on to, well, attempts to move on to her back, fishing for that arm bar. Grosso goes for an inverted triangle. Very, very interesting, very This is now and Kimura at the same time. This was your arm bar. Oh, goodness. Really innovative stuff from what we labeled him as more of a striker than anything in Lester yeah. Grosso. <laughs> Our final round underway. It's Alexa Grosso and Mizuki. Again, familiar position for Alexa Grosso. She yeah. gets taken down, but she's immediately offensive. Suzuki needs to make this position count for her, maybe try to, you know, bunch up some punches here. And it's a good scramble by Alexa on the bottom. She needs to not be flat at this point. She needs to stay curved. Oh, nice reversal by Alexa Grosso. She really ran the way well. My goodness. Suzuki able to reverse position. Now back at the feet. These girls are putting on a show inside the Shrine Auditorium. Impressed with both of these ladies tonight. I really am. Um, both of them are fighting their hearts out and being so technical. Wow, what a hard kick that was. Nice up kicks by Grosso. Time is going to run out for Mizuki. A valiant effort here in the third round. You and I came side. I think we scored it for Alexa Grosso, but a fantastic performance by both of them. Uh, we just high fived here in the commentator booth. For just, good reason. We just watched some really, really good mixed martial arts. I loved that fight. No, absolutely. For your winner by unanimous decision, se mantiene invicta Alexa. Who do you have your eye on in the strawweight division? Well, if if Victoria had me, I would like to fight uh, for the title. If if I can, I I will be so so glad, and I will be training really hard for for it. Alexa Grosso, ladies and gentlemen, a very proud and determined Alexa Grosso. She wants big things, and I think big things are on the horizon. Uh, she definitely impressed tonight. She stepped up to the plate, didn't. <laughs>